So this problem asks us to use source transformation to find VO. And if you're not familiar with source transformation, it's a really useful way to turn ugly circuits into not so ugly circuits by, by being able to change current sources into voltage sources and voltage into current sources. Now, there are rules. You can't just change them whenever you feel like it. For example, this current source can be changed into a voltage source because it's in parallel with a resistor. Now, when you change it into a voltage source, the parallel resistor gets moved into series with the voltage source, and it can be on either side. Now, when you're changing a voltage source into a current source, the resistor has to be in series and then gets moved into parallel with the new current source. The resistance always stays the same, but the current and voltage sources will change and you just use Ohm's law to determine the new values. So here we'd have 2 milliamps, so the new voltage would equal 2 milliamps times the resistance, 6K. And remember to use correct units, amps. So it's 0 0.002 amps times 6,000, and that's going to equal 12 volts. So that would actually be the new, um, the new value if we were to do a source transformation here, which I'm actually going to start the problem by doing, and I'm going to do a quick redraw. Okay, so we have our 6K, and okay, so we've got, now we've got our, uh, our new circuit here with our 6K in series with a 12 volt uh, power source instead of having the current source and a resistor in parallel. One step closer to solving the, the circuit, um, the very next thing that I would go for would be to combine these voltage sources into one and you don't have to worry about the resistor here in the middle, you can just pretty much just move this voltage source over and combine it and it would just become an 18 uh, an 18 volt source okay now we've got our new circuit again and you can see that it's just getting easier and easier or looking more and more simple instead of it looking impossible and uh, the next step would be to do another source transformation and the reason is because I want to combine this resistor and this resistor and right now we can't do that because we have this node um, in the center of them but if I change this into a current source and move this resistor parallel and then change this into a current source and move this resistor parallel that would mean that everything would be in parallel it would mean that these two resistors would be in parallel so I can combine those and these two once they become current sources would be in parallel so I'd be able to combine those. So ultimately I would end up with one current source and two parallel resistors, uh, one containing this VO and that would allow me to find V out. Another thing that you might notice is that if you parallel, if you combine these, a 12 and a 6K in parallel, you would end up with a 4K resistor, which is exactly what we have here. So we'll be able to just divide the current in half and then be able to find the voltage. So I'll just do a quick redraw on that. Okay, and another new circuit here. And you can see that I changed the 18 volt uh, voltage source into a current source uh, simply by dividing the voltage by the resistance. So 18 divided by the 6K, the 6,000 here, 
ends up being 0 0.003, which is 3 milliamps in parallel with the 6K. And then again over here, to find the current, I adjust And again, using Ohm's law, uh, the current is equal to voltage over resistance. I, I mean, I can't, I keep forgetting to mention that. Uh, so 24 divided by the 12K comes out to 0 0.002, which is 2 milliamps. This current source here in parallel with this same resistor. So again, to recap, we just change these two voltage sources here to two current sources. And now with these, we can combine these two resistors. Now, it's sometimes frowned upon to do it this way, but it's a good shortcut um, when combining two resistors in parallel. You do the product over the sum, but the correct way to do it is one over the R equivalent equals one over the first resistor plus one over the second resistor plus one over the third to however many you have and then you can just use algebra to figure out our equivalent so we can just do one over the 6k so that's 6000 plus one over the 12k and the LCD the lowest common denominator is going to be 12 so it's going to be 2 over 12k. We're just changing this to this here. Okay? Plus the 1 over 12k. So 3 over, I shouldn't write it like that. When you add those, it's going to be 3 over the 12K. And to get our equivalent, you just multiply like this here. 12 times 1 divided by the 3, and you're going to come out to 4. 4,000. That's a G. That should be <laughs> a Q. That's fine. Or the easy shortcut way for two parallels is 6k product over the sum times 12k over 6k plus 12k and that's going to end up being 4000 okay so with that in mind I'm just going to erase that and give our circuit a redraw also, it's worth mentioning that these current sources can also be combined. And this eraser takes forever. The way that you combine these two is it's going to end up just being one milliamp upward. So you just bring this over here, you just put them next to each other pretty much. Uh, one's going in one direction, one's going in the other. Um, the one that has, the one with the greater number is going to, it's going to remain going in that direction. And then you just use uh, subtraction to, or addition or what have you, depending on your uh, circuit to figure it out. So ultimately it's going to be one milliamp upward. All right. And again, just to recap, all I did here was combine these two resistors here, the 12K and the 6K, and then you get 4K. This stays the same here, VO, and the two current sources are combined. And you can see that since the 3 is greater than the 2, it's going to continue in its upward direction. And then you just subtract this from the 3. With this circuit, you can, I mean, you can go further if you wanted to simplify a little bit more, but here you can see 
um, it's pretty obvious that, that the current is going to be divided evenly over these two resistors. So each resistor is going to get half of a milliamp. So if we're looking for voltage, again, V equals IR. VO is going to equal this current, which is going to be 0.5 milliamps. So VO equals, and we have to put this in amps also, amps times this resistance. And the voltages on both of these branches are going to be identical actually. And the result for this is, let me just grab my calculator here, two volts. So our answer VL equals 2 volts. And like I said, the voltage drop across this is also going to be 2 volts. And that's how you do source transformation.